Yeah, that's a scorpion in Terratech, and I'm going to show you how to use it and many other awesome techs like it in today's video. Hey everyone, Dad Jokes Pwn here, back for another video. And today it occurred to me that we've talked a couple, well, on, on a number of occasions, about being able to, to find and, and use uh, other creators' techs from the, the Steam Workshop, but it really isn't altogether obvious how to do so. Um, so today I just wanted to briefly touch upon how to go about uh, finding uh, text that you like, uh, then uh, subscribing to them, and then once you get into the game, how to find them and, and use them from there. So uh, th that's going to be the, the focus of, of today's video. And there are actually a number of different ways to get there, and I, I want to go ahead and show a couple of them. Um, for example, uh, the splash screen here for the game uh, here on the right side is often going to have a, a number of, uh, of different texts that you can uh, look at. And that's actually how I found the featured tech for this particular video. I, I saw this screenshot and thought, holy crap, I have to go look at that. Um, and that's kind of the point of, of this little section over here. It has news. And uh, quite often, if you scroll down, it'll often have uh, a tech of the week uh, that you can check out uh, if you'd like to do so. Um, other ways to get there, uh, you can uh, just click on this very bottom right, a little Steam Workshop, uh, well, forums button. It'll take you directly here to the Steam forums. And from here, you can just click on the Workshop button up here. Uh, you also have access to things like tutorials um, and then a, a variety of other uh, just kind of threads that, that people are, are talking about. Um, but for the purpose of, of this video, uh, we'll hit the workshop button. And from here, uh, you get access to a pretty ridiculous number of texts. And uh, they do have them uh, categorized, and spread out basically in a... In a variety of different um, formats so that you can kind of filter down to what you're looking for. So if uh, you want something really speedy, and, and obviously not all of these are <laughs> perfectly uh, marked, uh, but a lot of them are. So you can hop in and say, uh, I had my eye on this, uh, and I wanted to be able to use uh, this uh, particular vehicle then I could simply hit the subscribe button. And that's pretty much all you have to do on the uh, workshop side. Uh, then uh, you'll be able to get access to the vehicle uh, from within the game. So that step is, and for the purposes of this video, I'll, I'll just go ahead and, uh, and transition over into my, uh, my save game. Uh, so that I can go ahead and, and show you how it works. All right, here we are in my main save. Uh, I just came here because, uh, if you remember, you do actually have to have the blocks uh, needed to build the tech in order to uh, load them in uh, based on this functionality. Uh, so do uh, bear that in mind, certainly. And we'll go ahead. So the way to, to use them once you've... Uh, subscribe to them is you'll go down here to the bottom left uh, and hit this button that says load tech and at first it's just going to show you your own text so it's it's not very obvious how to get to the the workshop ones but all you do is come over here on this left side of the screen basically in the middle and go ahead and hit the the steam uh, workshop icon and that is the point at which you'll you'll see your your text that that you subscribe to and then it should just be a matter and i'm not sure why well i guess this is actually a good demonstration so i assumed i would have all the parts i needed um it actually turns out that i don't and it tells you that here it's saying missing blocks uh so you can actually see which ones you're missing uh in that scenario so you can hit view tech blocks right here and it'll show you every block that's needed to build this particular racer and it turns out I don't have 
two of these Venture fuel pods. So I have two different ways to combat that problem. One, I have a base that can build practically anything in the game. Uh, but you can see right now I have a build queued up, uh, which I thought I'd cleared this already, but apparently not. That's okay. Um, I can do that or I can uh, simply purchase those parts. So I do happen to have, and you will eventually uh, in, in your save game, if you don't already, I uh, already have, excuse me, I had the wrong thing. Um, have access to the little computer that allows you to buy things. Uh, it's called a payload terminal. So you set that down, you can right click on it and basically it can, <laughs> this is why it's good to have uh, automatic defense turrets uh, so that uh, nothing gets destroyed uh, in, in an area that you want to have protected. So that, that's why you'll see that I have turrets uh, sprinkled around all over the place to, to make sure that, that my primary bases here uh, don't get destroyed because they will. Um, and, and that definitely sucks. Uh, so you can go through here and find what you need. So I know that uh, those things are under light blocks and, and you'll get the hang of it. You, you'll figure out where everything is categorized. It, it can be a little bit of a a pain in the butt to find what you're looking for, but we need two of these and there they are. So now I'll just go ahead and throw them into my storage and I'll just use the Hawkeye SCU here. Set that down, let it load up and it'll go ahead and suck those two parts into my inventory and then from there I can go ahead and load that tech. So that was actually a, a useful demonstration so that you guys would know how that works. Um, and then we can go back to load tech. We're, we're still on the workshop screen and, and if you need to, uh, you, you can just go back to your local techs and, and swap to those at, at any point. No problem there. But now you can see here that it no longer says unavailable uh, next to it. So we can proceed to go ahead and swap current tech. And here we go. Here's our, our little guy from the workshop that we, we just downloaded. So not very surprisingly, it's uh it's pretty, pretty dang speedy. We were, we were just over 200 miles an hour there. So that's pretty sweet. And uh, that's really the, the gist of, oh my, kind of froze the game a, a little bit there. Um, one, certainly one thing about um, being really advanced in the game, especially um, if you have just ridiculous creations like I do, um, uh, will be the fact that you, you will get some uh, screen stuttering, especially when you're moving back in and, and all of these little individual things have to load and, and be animated uh, and everything. Um, that's, that's just part of it. Um, it's really not that big a deal. So if I wanted to go ahead and create the um, kind of the, the star of the show uh, from previously, I would have to go to view tech blocks and then uh, I can work my way through here and see everything that I have, what I don't have. So I'm two short on, on this uh, wingnut arm. I'm five short on this block. I'm nine short on this, three short on this. So you just work your way through the list. And uh, once you get yourself to, to the point where you, you have everything, then you can just go ahead and load it in. Um, now you don't actually have to uh, swap directly to that tech. You can deploy it as a whole new tech if you want to, just by hitting deploy new tech down here. It's going to bring up a, a little bubble. Um, the bubble is basically going to be the size of the tech. So if I'm trying to spawn in something enormous, then uh, it'll, it'll adjust uh, to ensure that you're making enough room 
uh, to go ahead and spawn that in. So, uh, so you can see this bubble is considerably larger. But if I want to go ahead and place it, just left click, and there it is. It's spawned into the game, and you can uh, swap over to it by switching to the tick. Or if you uh, change your mind, you can always send send it back to inventory, which I thought I did there. There we go. And now that's back in the inventory and safe. I don't really want to take the time right now to get all the parts uh, for my save. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to the R&D mode where it doesn't really matter. Uh, it will just let you do it. And uh, that way I can go ahead and fully demonstrate the, the Scorpion because uh, I just think it's super freaking cool. All right, here we are. So just sitting here in a, in a little uh, mobile um, selling uh, tech that, that I, I built. Um, it's pretty great when, when you're just wanting to, uh, to get rid of, of chunks or, uh, or other things just in mass and, uh, do it in a super, super quick fashion. Uh, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the star of the show and just look at this thing and one attention to detail that I really, really like. Uh, on on this tech is the the fact that um, it put these mandibles uh, or or fangs uh, in the front here. Uh, check this out. So uh, if you're at all familiar with with scorpions, you know they have little moving mouth parts uh, in the front uh, for for when they're eating. And just check this out. It has these moving back and forth to to mimic that, which I think is is super cool. And it has. Uh, has things shooting out of the the tail um i i just i just adore this thing and uh it it actually moves at a significantly quicker pace than you'd anticipate if you use the the booster uh on it um there isn't any way to articulate and and move the the tail um which would, would be a, a really cool um function but that, that's okay it's it's cool enough on its own and uh, I, I just i just love this thing uh, i think it's ridiculously cool um maybe partly because i'm not from an area where scorpions are prevalent uh, I, I may feel a little differently if uh, if they were a legitimate threat uh, to me but uh I, nonetheless uh, i really like this thing and, and hope you guys do as well um but that's going to pretty much wrap it up for, for this one. Just wanted to uh, demonstrate, since it's something I've talked about a lot, it, it occurred to me that uh, I really didn't give any guidance whatsoever on how it works. So I wanted to correct that. So if you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton in building a YouTube channel here. Hit that like button. And as always, I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Take care, everyone.